tomatoes. Attack of the killer tomatoes. Robert Gambit's not important to speak for right for monsters of which we speak, except when he has a security leak. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh, isn't it a pity? There's no tomatoes looking in the sand zucchini woods. You may be right, Sam. The tomato Geiger isn't picking up any tomato traces. Oops, it is picking up tomato traces. Big ones. Which way, Finn? Let up. That way. So that's so poetic. Yeah, I just wish you were a better general. Just follow my lead, Sam. Okay, Sam, this is where we pull the old divide and conquer gambit. The what gambit, Finn Little? It means you go that way and I go this way. Something smells around here. Yeah, fertilizer. Last one in's a rotten tomato. As I suspected, Sam, there isn't a tomato alive that can resist the smell of day-old fertilizer. Hey, something's happening. Yeah, the fertilizer feels funny. Let me say, this ain't funny. And it ain't fertilizer. If it ain't fertilizer, what is it? Ah, oh, quick drying cement. Oh, no! This shows a great disrespect for the vegetable kingdom. <coughs> and tomatoes in particular. <coughs> uh, right on, Mamato. This is another fine mess Sultan has gotten us into. <coughs> hey, enough with the bickering, all right? Who was it who got you where you are today? Yeah, who? The sun's bright this morning. W what's going on? You are. You're going out of here. We took a vote. You lost. We decided it was time for a new leader. Someone more in keeping with the attitudes of the family and willing to keep the honor of tomatoes everywhere from being besmirched. Bada boom, bada bing. <laughs> like me. You, 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 you can't do this to me. No, no, wait. Have a nice trip. <laughs> this is incredible! Another blasted flower! Igor! You called a rural rottenness? Bring the bro no mo! And your brain is filled with sand. I hate flowers ruining my garden of weeds. Igor, hook the hose up to the well. This goo needs diluting.
mind, Doc. Ever have one of those mornings? What are you doing here? Well, it's kind of a long story, but to keep the plot rolling along, I've come home. The prodigal son, <laughs> Tomato, has returned. I suppose you're going to want me to clean up the guest room. So, you come crawling back on your stem to your creator because you finally discovered that you need me. <laughs> yes. Me, putrid T. Gangrene, the world's greatest angry scientist. That's about the way to leave Blaze, Doc. The gang kicked me out, and I need a new army. <laughs> this is moon dust. Yeah, I picked it up on the way over. It may be just what I, uh, <clears throat> we need. <laughs> Fate has brought you back to me, and together we will create a new race of super tomatoes, and we will defeat that ingrate gang of six. Uh, five. They're back to five. Who cares? What matters is that I have a second chance to conquer the world. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> This is not good, Chad. Dr. Gangrene is creating a new breed of tomato troopers. And San Zucchini is in big trouble. Not to mention the rest of the world. Am I a genius? Or am I not a genius? I don't know. I ain't seen nothing yet. Patience, bog breath. We need an army that knows no fear. Yes! Prehistoric tomatoes! Perfect! <laughs> Zucchini Symphony for dramatic scenes like this. I can't see anything, Chad. What's happening in there? I don't know. But I bet you're dying to find out. How long does this go on? It should be over. Right now. Awesome. Who are they, Doc? What else? Prehistoric warrior tomatoes! Cave tomatoes! <laughs> you think we're gonna see tomatoes tonight, Wilbur? Full moon, Red Sea, tomatoes delight. Oh, aye, right you are, matey! Tis not a fit night for man nor bird. <laughs> Suppose he knows something that we don't... An honorable undertaking that I cannot refuse. Uh oh, it's the tomato task force. Squish him! Sam? What do you say, Wilbur? That's not me, Sam. It's... Ever have that sinking feeling? Hi, Uncle Wilbur. I thought you need a fast way out of there, so I cut a hole in the floor. Thanks, Chad boy. Where are we? It's an abandoned sewer, left over from another series. Oh! <laughs> Whitley White here, Tomatoes there. The battle of the century, of the millennium, of all time even. <laughs> 
is still happening. Tomato against tomato, vegetable against fruit. Depending on your preference, where will it all end? Hey, what happened to you guys? Uh, there was an ambush at the fertilizer warehouse, and we were attacked by unknown assailants. It was even worse than that. Zoltan's got a new tomato gang, <laughs> and they're real killers. Yeah? Well, they ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Oh, Doctor, sir, and the fight was a tie. Yes, and I hate ties! <laughs> I like winners and losers. The thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. <laughs> yes, what's needed is more tomato power. From the mountains to the sea to all of San Zucchini, this is Whitley White. Uh, Whitley, what's happening there in downtown San Zucchini? Uh, thank you, me. Well, it's peaceful for the moment. The first phase of what's being called the Great Tomato Wars is over. It's quiet here in beautiful downtown San Zucchini. Oops, I spoke too soon. It looks like something is about to happen. Here comes Fang and the gang of six. Minus one. And now here comes Zoltan and the cave tomatoes. Take no prisoners. Sometimes you don't want to root for either team. For myself, maybe. This is Whitley White in the KRMD studios. We'll be back to the Great Tomato Wars right after this scene. Time for phase three, Igor. You mean we're going to elevate the war? No, Dweeb. I'm going to escalate it. Back to you, Whitley. Thank you, Doctor. Well, there's a lull in the battle for the moment. But not for long! Once more, into the breach, dear friends! here in the once beautiful downtown area of San Zucchini. Night has fallen over a scene of such devastation that I can barely bring myself to describe it. Where, oh, where will it all end? We're not a moment too soon, Sam. Okay, Sam, cut a hole in the fence. Except a little quieter might have been better. The tomato task force. Just what we need. <laughs> Much better. We'll melt them down and use their brains for our smart tomato missiles. How do I keep getting into these dire predicaments? Indeed. How does Wilbur keep getting himself and the Tomato Task Force into such dire predicaments? But more to the point, who will come to his rescue? Who else? Yes? We're here to see Dr. Gang Green. Oh, I'm not sure the doctor can give you any of his time. Since the Great Tomato Wars began, he's been in constant demand. Interesting offer, gentlemen. I'll keep it in mind. We'll have to do lunch soon. Dr. Gang Green, you must stop all this, or San Zucchini will be destroyed. Really? I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> what a nice fringe benefit. Yeah. Back to work, Doctor. 
There's a war to be fought. Indeed, and a world to be won. Sorry, my boy, but this is bigger than both of us. seeds I took from Dr. Gang Green's lab. Just remember not to overcook the brain. The missiles have to be smart enough to wipe out Zoltan. Whitley White here, and the mother of all battles is about to be joined. The current champion, Fang and the Gang of Six! Uh, minus one. Oh. 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 And the challenger, Zoltan and the Cave Matos! Zucchini is mine! The world is mine! Perhaps even the universe! <laughs> Perhaps not. No matter. The world is quite enough for one day. <laughs> this is awful! With Gang Green and the tomatoes together again, the world doesn't stand a chance. Father Phoebe! No! Gang Green was using me! You can't trust a human! So, let's team up again and take over the world, tomato style! Okay, but I gotta be boss! Swell! I hate responsibility anyway! Tell me, F.T., just what was it you showed Zoltan that made him break up with Dr. Gangrene? Fabi, I've received a day. It's a scene from what would have been the next episode. Except I don't remember reading a script like this. It's the show that F.T. wrote and was rejected by the network. It's incredible, Igor. All my plans ruined. Again! I may have to write the next episode myself. You're probably wondering why I invited you all here. This is war. So, what do you say to that? Oops, I must have made a wrong turn at that last barricade. This isn't the San Zucchini Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> On your feet, you scurvy scalawags. It is I, Captain James T. Hook of the pirate ship Jolly Roger. Relay all previous commands, mateys. Set your course for Neverland and watch Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates Monday here on Fox. Now, zoom into Bobby's world next on Fox.